But we want to begin with that emotional goodbye for a teenage girl killed in a deadly crash. And good morning, Monday morning to you. I'm Melanie Lawson. Good morning, everyone. I'm Art Rascone. It is so very sad. The 18-year-old was out with friends after a homecoming on Friday night when she took a turn too fast and crashed her truck. This morning, those who knew and loved her came together to remember her. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Campion is live at the school in Freeport. He brings us more. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Mel. Overwhelming scene here today. A high school senior gone in a flash, and she's leaving behind a big void evidenced here today. And today, that healing process started here with no dry eyes. There's nothing that we can go through, oh God, that heaven cannot heal. Prayers ring out on the footsteps of Brazos Sport High this morning. Tears greet a school day. Few here will forget soon. Her happy smile, her laugh, the way she made me just and all that. Friends and family gathering in honor of 18-year-old Leslie Acuna, holding each other closely as they prepared to say goodbye. Anytime anybody was sad or mad, she would just jump in there and try to make them laugh as hard as they could. At 8 a.m., just before classes started, they remembered Acuna's spirit, releasing these balloons to the sky. She deserves so much more than anything anyone could give her. The Freeport community mourning all weekend long, creating this memorial in Acuna's memory after she died in a truck crash on her way to a Lake Jackson IHOP with friends. Troopers say she wasn't wearing a seatbelt when she took a curve too quickly. A lot of teenagers don't wear their seatbelts. They just don't think about it when they're getting into the car. They're excited to wear their they were going. She was excited about homecoming and to hang out with her friends. Today, one thing clear amidst the heartbreak here. This young lady surely loved more than most ever are. She's probably watching over us and she's smiling, thanking everybody, knowing that she was really loved by everybody. Back out here live, many of the students dealing with death for the first time in their lives. The school district superintendent telling us that there are counselors right now on campus and they will stay as long as they are needed. Reporting live in Freeport, Steve Campion, 13 Eyewitness News. Well, Steve, you answered the one question I had about counselors, but do you know if the school itself plans to do anything special like a memorial service so the kids can grieve together? I'm not sure on that one, Mel, but I will tell you, I did speak with Akuna's father just about an hour or so ago. The, he tells me that he's actually going to hold off on having funeral services until Saturday so that the friends of, and friends of hers can actually visit her and, and not have to miss school to, to be a part of it. All right, Steve Campion, thank you so much. Such a tragedy. Well, one